Hello? Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Video? Yeah, well, I'm kind of busy right now. When am I going to put the new video out? When I'm F scripting good and ready. Welcome back. Scott Schiller for Ron Fitzpatrick G Parts and Team G503 here on YouTube. Yeah, I'm only kidding. That really wasn't a phone. It was actually a sanding block. Nobody was really calling me. Anyway, you know, sometimes I do get that way on the phone. All right, let's continue on with the wiring of the headlights on the G503 1943 Willis MB. We're almost done with the wiring. Those headlights should work pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead in this video, I'm going to do the wiring that goes from the two post junction block on the fender up into the grill and over the top of the grill. Now, when I film this, some is kind of difficult to get at with the camera, so I hope that you can see exactly where the little clips and the wires go. Let's dive right in. If you've been following the Team G503 videos up to this point on the wiring, we are at the point now where we can connect our headlight wires to the two-point post that's on the inside of the fender there on the driver's side. I'm just kind of showing you the long side and the short side. The long wire would be coming from the passenger side shown there as I've just got it draped across the grill and the short one goes on the driver's side. Now I don't have this placed in the correct area which would go behind this little bracket here and then underneath the side of the grill and then it's attached with clips and usually just follows along the front side there or the top side of the grill. So we're going to have to pull this back out and then feed it through those areas and I'll show you exactly where I did that. Starting at the back side of the headlight bucket on the passenger side, we go through those two little areas that I pointed out to you in the beginning of the video, and then we're going to go in front of the bracket on the opposite side where the driver's side is. I'll just get a little close shot here. So we're going to come right underneath the bracket there where it folds up and down where the headlight bucket is mounted to. And then if you notice, there's a little clip there on the side of the grill. That's going to be important. Now here we've got the clips. These are the number six clips from the Ron Fitzpatrick Master Clip Set for your MB or your your GPW, you have to purchase these screws and lock washers and nuts separately. So I've got this all set up here. We've installed these in the last video and here we've got our short wire and that wire is going to be a little bit easier to install than the other one that we had to drag across the grill. This is where it gets a little bit difficult. You have to install the clips facing forward as I'm showing you here and then you have to feed the head of the screw through the top there of your grill and then you can you have to reach inside the grill there and attach the lock washers and the nuts and that's where it gets to be a little bit difficult. Difficult, but you can kind of get your fingers in there or, or a socket or a small tool and make it easy. We've also got a clip here and I want to show you this because this is the specific thing I was talking about earlier. We've got two of those number six clips butterflied or placed together to hold those two wires in place and I'll bring the camera around from the underneath side here and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I've got one laid on top of the other then the head of the bolt is inserted from the top side of the bracket there and then a lock washer and a nut and then tighten that down and that holds those two wires right in place. Once you get to that point, each one of the leads has a red and a black wire with white tracers, and we're simply going to connect those to the little block that we installed in the previous video, and we're going to do it the same way. We're going to put the two reds that match the red on the top, and those go in at like a, almost a 15 degree angle, but they have to fit inside that protective collar. We'll zoom in here a little bit, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I've got the two eyelets there, and they're pushed together, but they're inside that little space there, and it lines them up nice. And then also note that star washer is between the head of the screw, and that comes on your two-post block. Let's take one last look. And another thing I want to mention is a lot of times that tab will get bent in on your Jeep grill. You'll have to make it straight. But let's just walk through here and take a close look again at where all the fasteners are, because this is kind of the most important part and the point of this video is getting this wiring in its correct location. And there we are on the passenger side. It actually is a question that gets a lot because a lot of times, again, that tab that I showed you there in the beginning, I kind of went past it quick. Let's back up to it again. A lot of time that gets bashed or pushed in in the inside. And the guys are curious about why that's supposed to go. It does go at an almost 90 degree angle from the outside of the grill. All right, if we did this okay, all we got to do now is pull our switch. That's the first position for blackout. We'll be doing a video of that in the future. And then push that little tab in so we can get to the second position. And if we did this correctly, we'll walk out here to the front side of the Jeep. We should have some lights on our headlights. And here we go. Here's the great test. Let's just go ahead and pull that switch, and the magic should happen here. And I should have light at the headlights. The last thing I'll have to do, and I won't be doing it in the very near future, is kind of one of the last things I'll do is I'm going to have to adjust those headlight beams per the manual specs, and we'll do that in the future. So we're all set. We've got some headlights. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just kidding. I didn't mean to throw the phone. No, no, no. See?
Yeah, yeah I, will, I won't do that again, I promise. Okay, okay, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, I gotta get back to what I was doing. Thanks, bye. It's not really a phone, it's a Santa block. But, you know, it just happened to be what I had on hand. Anyways, got them all wired up now. We've got a couple little more things to do, and those lights will be all set to go. Mainly just have to adjust them, and that's going to be a video in itself. So we've got everything all wired up. We're going to move on to the taillights next, which I know a lot of folks have been asking about. And they're, they're probably the most, well, it's the most intricate, difficult thing of the wiring, only because it's got to go through a couple little areas of clips. So stay tuned for that taillight video. It should be coming up very shortly. Until next time, my friends, keep it safe. Don't be talking into sanding blocks. You look like a goofball. And happy Jeep.